So in case you didn't watch some of the other videos, I bought a KAF2 real-time clock online and uh, tried to put it into the old serial number 100 I have, this K2 on the bottom, and it was lacking the connectors on the front panel to plug it in. So I wanted to test the new board. So I physically put it into the, the newer box, which is uh, serial number 1740, and it does have the connectors. In fact, it had a real-time clock, so I pulled it out. This is the old one. I wanted to test the new one. So it's physically installed. I'll give you a look over the top. So they fit right in there. There are two connectors. You can see them here. There's a five pin and a three pin, and they plug in, and then there's a single screw. One more look. You can see the single screw in the middle, I hope, and uh, that's what holds it in. So now that it's in, we have to enable it and then set it. So to enable it, we go into the secondary menu. So I'll hold, uh, pardon me, I'll push menu, and then I will hold display one more time. Let's see, let's see. There we go, secondary. And then we can cycle through either with the knob or with the switches. Switches are a little more in control. So there's RTC off. Now we'll press edit. And then we'll change it to on. And then we'll press edit again to get back out. So that turns on the real time clock. That means that if I push display, instead of cycling between voltage and current and frequency, I should have a middle step with the clock. So there's the clock and it's uh, not set to something we know about and then one more push I hope let's see there we go well my switch must be dirty or something anyway there's voltage and current and there's frequency display and there's clock so that's doing what it should that's a little better and then once you get to day and date or a clock, you can switch with holding down both the band buttons. There we go, there's day and date. And there's time. So now we've got to go through setting the clock. And I've got another video up for setting the clock, so that might be easier. Although there is a uh, one caveat to prevent uh, inadvertently changing your time. The K2 firmware requires that you follow this procedure, which is turn off the K2, then turn it back on, then tap display. That means, and it actually says after a few seconds, you'll see hours, minutes, and seconds. So then you can go through the set procedure, but you can only do it right after a power up. So you can find that other video. And uh, if you can't, drop a note in the comments and I'll check for it or add another one. Thanks for watching. See ya.